I'm Anna Berry and this is Tulsa. Today we're at Amelia's on Boston, one of my favorite restaurants downtown, and they are known for delicious food. My name is Amelia Easley, and this is my restaurant, Amelia's. We're in the middle of the Tulsa Arts District, so the location is amazing for foot traffic, people going out at night, people going to the PAC and the BOK Center. I believe we have one of the only Grillworks grills in Oklahoma. We also have a wood-burning pizza oven, so we really like to make sure that everything is made here. And it's really fun to be able to use the local farmers. And they are not only known for delicious food, but they source a lot of their food locally, plus they source a lot of their beers and their spirits locally too. We're actually gonna try two cocktails at Amelia's, the Lolita featuring the beer ski and a classic vodka martini with Indian grass vodka. Lemon, grapefruit, saffron bitters, and a homemade apricot syrup with vodka and the beer ski. This is a delicious and refreshing drink. Oh, and edible flowers. Now, who doesn't love a good vodka martini straight up with a twist? This Indian grass vodka almost has a sweetness to it. Maybe it's because of the ice age water that they distill it with. Delicious. Cheers. So let's go to the source of these spirits. Let's go to Oklahoma Distilling Company. My name is Hunter Stone Gamble, and I am the distiller for Oklahoma Distilling Company. I love just the opportunity of doing something that has not been done in Oklahoma, as well as educating consumers on what distilling is, because a lot of what people are getting as craft are just cheap imitations. Our first spirit was a vodka, it's called Indian Grass Oklahoma Vodka. We source water from Western Oklahoma and the Great Salt Plains. And so there was a glacier that was formed during the last ice age. It was trapped in sandstone. As it melted, all the minerals from the sandstone were left in the water. So we're not just merely taking Tulsa tap water and filtering it. Each bottle also has a piece of Oklahoma grass in it. It has a story, it's not just vodka. So we're in about 150 liquor stores. Most of the larger liquor stores in Tulsa carry everything that we do. As far as bars and restaurants that I know that carry everything that we do, you can go down to Nola's on Cherry Street. You can go to Valkyrie downtown, as well as Amelia's. What's been incredible has been meeting great people that really want to be excited about what's going on in Oklahoma. These are just a few examples of some of the amazing local businesses we get to support here in Tulsa. I'm Anna Berry, and this is Tulsa. Everything is on.